Okay, so I'm at my friend's place and condensing unit isn't working. So what we did is we turned off the power from the circuit breaker right here and uh, uh, we checked the, uh, the L1 and L2 on the contactor. L1 and L2, this is where the power comes from, the circuit breaker. There were uh, 240 volts across these two leads right here and 24 volts came in to the coil and it shut the contactor so 240 volts were uh, went across the other side so all that checked out great um, the fan came on but the compressor right here didn't come on so first thing we did is first you want to uh, test the run capacitor right here there's a uh, one capacitor for the compressor and here, here's another capacitor for the fan um, we uh, to, before you run it we shorted the run capacitor on both leads real quick to drain out all the current in it all the, and uh, and we just take out the leads so that's off And I have my digital multimeter right here. Set to capacitance. It's nanofarad right there. And when I check the capacitance across it, there is nothing. So my friend went and got a new capacitor. Um, it's 440. It's rated right at 440 volts and it is a 35 microfarads on one end and 7.5 microfarads on the other end so if you look from the top the 35 microfarad is between C common and HERM HERM that's compre compressor side and then the other side is fan and this is 7.5 uh, microfarads since we're only replacing uh, the uh, the compressor side, we don't have to hook up the fan side on this. This just means that there's two uh, capacitors in one. So I took off both leads and pulled this compressor. I mean, pulled this capacitor out. Uh, you can see that on this capacitor it says. Right at 440 volts, and it's 35 microfarads right there. So we know this is bad. In fact, when you shake it, you can hear water running around it. So this is this is a bad capacitor. So now we need to put this other capacitor in here. But the question comes: What leads goes to where? Because on this old uh, capacitor, it doesn't say which one is. HERM and which one is the common so we have two leads right here how do we figure out what goes to where well if you look at the circuit on your uh, condensing unit you'll find out that at the compressor S is where start uh, the capacitor kick starts it so at S if you follow it says purple and you know what and you then you know that the purple wire is what goes to the capacitor at the compressor side so well, I'm looking right here this wire is white and this wire is red what does that mean well it says purple but if I follow this wire down it goes down through here and it goes all the way to the compressor right here and if I open up the compressor, well, I can see there's S right there. So that lead right there, that's where it should, uh, the start should go to. So if I open this up, you can see, yes, its original color was purple. So that wire, this white wire right here, that's where it goes to HGRM HERM on the uh, start run start capacitor.
So let's put this back in. And then let's just attach this to that. So the uh, the compressor goes to HERM and then this one is the red wire goes to common C right there and actually if you always look back one I mean it always goes back to one of the uh, contacts uh, so that's where one of one of the wires should go to so that goes to so C goes to the contact go, and then um, the compressor goes straight to uh, the comp I mean the wire that from the compressor goes straight to HERM. So we got that hooked up. Let's try starting up and see if it works. <laughs> 